Hi guys, welcome back on my channel, Dorota Palska International, new artist and educator here. And today we are going to do a slightly different tutorial. Of course, we'll st still use a new techniques and new products. Uh, I hope you will really enjoy watching it. Have a little preview of it, what we are going to create. Yes, it is going to be an Easter eggs uh, fun day and I show you a step by step how to paint them really nice and beautiful. Let's start! <laughs> That's the eggs which we are going to paint. I will show you this one. It's absolutely uh, amazing. And I show you step by step how to cre uh, create this kind of Easter eggs. Freehand painted with the one stroke. So basically you have to make a hole in one side of the egg and a second side of the egg and then take away the egg white and the egg yolk. Uh, just the empty the egg. And then we have to paint it blue. You could also use any different color and I will show you just a part of it because obviously um, the drying time takes quite a lot and then I will just swap for the egg which I already have painted. Uh, so I've got some piece of uh, back of the foil but you could use also the mixing palette I just don't want to waste some space and I'm using the acrylic paints. So you just squeeze out a little bit of the paint Add a drop of white because we want to create kind of um, sky looking view. And then try to pick up like a best, um, the biggest brush you've got. So quite a lot of water in. Like you don't want to paint too, too strong color. You will need a two layers uh, of the paint definitely. And then you just start painting it. So basically what I did, I was just painting one side of the egg. Like don't bother about different colors, like I think it looks pretty cute um, that you've got all sort of different colors. So you would just paint one side of the egg all the way through. And then once you cover the entire egg, you can wait for it to dry and then put it upside down and paint the other side. And then just repeat. Okay, so we've got like a sky background. Then wait for it to dry and swap it. Okay, so that's, that's the way how I paint it. I just wanted to quickly show you, but obviously the drying time is quite time consuming so you don't waste your time. I've got already egg painted. Now we can squeeze out the colors which we need. Okay and once it's painted like basically you can just turn it any side you want and I want to paint like this side will be nice. What we are going to paint, we are going to paint some pansy flowers. I think it will be nice. So I'm using the 017 light violet. Squeeze out a little bit of it. Then another one, which is number 16. Well, this one is nearly at the end. And some yellow. Actually, I will take the lighter one. And we can start painting uh, also some leaves as well. With the drop of white. Where are you, white? And the green I have used is a number 28. Now, for the bigger parts of the flowers, we are going to use the Dorota Palitska brush, one stroke brush level one, and it's slightly bigger than the master. It's a much smaller brush. You can also see, guys, the difference in between those two brushes. Uh, they are awesome for a one stroke. Okay, so I clean my brush because I'm bad and sometimes I leaving the paint on it. <laughs> and then picking up the first colors. So we are going to paint the pansy flower. So some light purple with the dark purple. 
mix it well. And now I'm just going to start painting the, the flowers. So first of all, we need to paint the one which is on the back. Uh, on the back. The petal which is on the back. Wait for it to dry. And let's do another one in here. So just exactly the same. And I'm working with the touches of the brush really. Like touch, 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 touch. Don't worry about those kind of lines because they have been visible here as well. And once we top coat it, and I will show you this step as well, they all disappear. Okay, so um, don't worry about it at all. Now here we are going to do some bat. Quickly swap for some green. Okay, and I'm just painting some leaves. Look how I'm changing the angle of my brush. But never go to the places where you have uh, already painted and the paint is not dry. Okay, so a couple of the leaves. We can also paint some leaves on the other side as well. So we have painted a couple of leaves, which is awesome because now we can go back to our pansy flowers. So again, I'm mixing the paint. Now here we are going to paint another large petal, which is kind of over the top of the first one. And then we are going to swap some colors. So we are going to have some purple on the top and then yellow on the bottom. And we are going to paint the petals. Let's paint those two first. So I'm really touching uh, with my brush. Don't shake it too much. I mean, we can shake it a little bit more um, for the larger surface, but when we're painting on the nails, like you really don't want to shake it. I 
I'm more kind of lifting my hand and just finishing to the places which I started. You can already see it, it starts looking like a flower. Uh, this combination of the color is pretty confusing for me because I'm always having my lighter color at the higher point of the brush. Um, so I'm a bit struggle because of it. And sometimes we are able to paint it more like on one petal, sometimes we are able to paint two, three petals, so it really depends how we load the brush. And you kind of feel it, how many petals you can paint. Now I'm just going to pigment this one a little bit more. I add a drop of water because my brush is getting too dry. Um, you can also check the playlist which is called One Stroke. <clears throat> there is lots of uh, different ideas of the flowers which you could paint. Uh, this is like awesome technique which can be used for many different things. Okay, and now we are going to uh, go for more yellow. I can even use the darker one for the bottom part of the flower. So just squeeze out the drop. Of the paint small drop <laughs> and let's paint the darker color so the purple and the yellow and we are going to paint the bottom And same on this one. Okay, so we've got two pansy flowers. We have to wait for this part to dry and then we can apply it at a uh, second layer. On the meantime, we're going to swap for a smaller brush and we will paint some uh, small beautiful flowers in purple as well. So clean my brush, white and purple. And now we are going to add a couple of those small flowers. And I love this uh, brush because basically what you do is you just touch and it's great the petals of the flowers. Some, some of those petals uh, we want it on top of the leaves, some of them are underneath of the leaves. Just make it, it interesting. Like this one can go over the previous one. Okay, so we've got a couple on this side. 
and then couple more on the other side. I'm not even trying to make them all the same, like uh, I'm trying to kind of make each petal slightly different to make it more interesting. And we could add some here. Okay, so this place is start filling up. Let's go back to the pansy flowers. They have dry now. Okay, so that's the last petal. And since we've got this color on the brush, I'm going to stick to this color and do some more buds. My dog is having some dreams. <laughs> you know what else is awesome, guys? Like what you could do is like you could just play. You could create new kind of shapes, like just go and touch with your brush. And, and those large pieces is so nice because you can you can experiment, like you can try different movements. And, and that's what I like about it. Now we are going to use the black and the black paint concentrator. You have to be very careful with this one because it's like a water. So this will make my lines really nice and thin. And the black, I think I've got it almost at the end. Okay, so now we are going to use the D-liner brush. And I want really nice, actually, this will be useful. And the reason for it is because we're picking up such a small amount of the paint, it is going to dry very, very quick. Okay. And all what I'm doing is lots of lines. If you're not happy about something, you can use the baby wipe. And just quickly wipe it away. And because the paint didn't dry yet, it is very easy to do so. Okay, once you have painted the lines, we can add a little bit more black color.
and same here. And now we are going to add the ditto. So I have just cleaned my brush, add a drop of red into my yellow. To make a nice um, orangey color. Okay, and we are going to add a couple of those three lines. And then with the yellow, mix with white. Actually go from this side so we can press harder and then lighter. It's like a wee triangle. Okay, and this way we have painted some pansy flower. We can give them a detail as well. So take some white with a drop of the light purple, just so it's not pure white. and start outlining it. You don't want to do it too much. Just cleaning all these paints. And same in here. You really want to highlight those petals here on the top and same the bottom one.
Okay, just a bit too much. And it's too much because it's too dark color, a uh, too light color use, so I need to darken it a little bit. I think it's actually a fun, like very relaxing thing to do. We can also paint some veins inside the leaves. So like all this detail really makes the design stand out. And it's also changing the shape uh, of the leaves, of the petals. Now dotting tool and some orange color. Don't even mix it properly. Just make some dots. Okay, we are also going to paint some different type of flowers. And we are missing definitely some red and white. Just so we've got all sorts of different colors in there. So again, just the touches and on the places where we go over the color, we will have to definitely touch up the petals again.
Okay, just a wee small bud. And here another. Let's finish this one first. Add extremely small amount of the water, dry it, it out. Once you start filling the paint doesn't have a creamy consistency, that's a time when you have to add a little bit of water. Going to paint another one here. And you can see it, I'm making a slightly different shapes of the petals, different colors, like, just so they are not the same. This is slightly a bigger picture than I normally do on the needles. I don't want to cover too much of the pansy flower. There we are. I'm definitely liking this color, so I'm going to add it more of it somewhere here. And swap the <clears throat> swap the brush for a smaller one. Mix the color well. And you can see the difference when I use only red and white, like very uh, strongly defined colors. Uh, I don't like those results. I, I prefer when the paint is kind of more mixed. Uh, that's why I sometimes take so long for the paint to mix. Okay, let's maybe paint some butterfly as well. 
So we're just quickly going to paint some butterfly in the color of... I quite like this color, so we are going to stick to this color. So that's the first wing. Then the bottom one. And then a wee tiny one on the top. Okay, just some body. Antennas. And yes, we are going for the legs as well. Just so we tiny ones. Just a little detail. Now I'm just going to clean the place which I mess up. <laughs>
couple small dots. Don't press with your good brush because that is very damaging to the brush. could probably paint it and paint it like this for a long time. I, I still wish to add much more into this design. Because <clears throat> I feel like the more detail we do, the nicer it is. Again, just so it's not as strong white. And definitely not all the petals, like outlining all the petals would be far too much. Couple of the small dots. We can also make some white ones on top of them. Yeah, it starts look uh, looking not too bad. I mean, obviously on this one I've got much more stuff going on. Um, so I might actually add it just a couple more. Let's do this uh, dark purple stuff, which I have done it as well. So that's the cobalt blue dotting tool. And it's a really good great like a space filler also checking the balance of it as well so okay after this color I'm dipping in, in the purple I hope guys you are not bored yet watching it because it's this long probably video. How long we take in ages, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I could probably do a bit more, but no, I'm just going to leave it for this egg. And then on my own, I might paint the third one as well. <laughs> but I wanted to show you guys something slightly different. Definitely fun to do it. Like, I really enjoy it, those type of painting. 
yeah we are going to leave it this one the way it is that's plenty black and a green just to add a couple of the grass in there I really take a time like uh, with my brush like I don't like to rush it the preparation of the brush Yeah, that's it. So our next step is to wait for it to dry and then we are going to apply the top coat and I'm going to show you as well like how it looks with the top coat. So the top coat is going to really nicely get our design like to pops out. And again, it's a pretty tricky stuff. So I suggest you use um, you use this part to hold on your egg because otherwise it will just run away from you okay so that's how i'm going to put it inside the lamp and you have to do it in a parts as well of course you could paint it two sides of the egg as well like really decent amount of the top coat and look how much it's changing the, the parts which are top coated. They're so much nicer, smoother, and like they look even more realistic, I would say. And um, when I was taking the picture of the previous egg, I have dropped it on the floor from a decent height, and I'm not sure was it a top coat which protected it, but it looks like probably. It must be a top coat, uh, so I'm glad it didn't break. So I do definitely suggest you top coat it. Um, you don't have to, like, but I think the, the results are much nicer. And also, um, when it gets dusty, you could easily clean it as well because of the top coat. So Okay, so I'm only top coating, top coating half of the egg decent amount of the top coat then put it in there and put it inside the lamp okay actually I'm going to do it this way and then inside the lamp to give it a cure <laughs> And I have tested, like I was scared maybe if I put it into the lamp and um, it will overheat it and it will break. No, it doesn't break. Like you can just uh, cure it, no bother. So once it's cured, you would just turn it over and paint uh, the second coat. But I want to quickly show you this result and I'm not going to waste your time anymore. <laughs> so I can tidy up this mess, <laughs> put a nice flower, take, the, take this away. Like, yeah, I'm going to definitely use it as a decoration. I think it looks super cool. Oh, I will probably need something to hold the egg. And the second one, there we are. Yeah, blue tack will do as well. But even the this part there we are that's what we have painted today actually this one is reflecting the light but oh no oh this light is so strong and i want to show you guys the finished results no it's still too strong Oh, they, no, because then you cannot see it. 
Okay, I will just go like this. So another advantage of like not applying the top coat when I paint is you, you're able to see it more because once the top coat is on, it's really shiny and the lights reflects on it. And that's on a second idea for you, just so you've got something, something more to think of. Yeah, glittery hats and bye for now.